the septal defect with aortic valve prolapse. Okay. We're going to repair his VSD and possibly have to repair his aortic valve. The intraoperative echo showed pretty clear aortic valve prolapse through the VSD, which was either perimembranous or subarterial and moderate to severe AI. Incision. We need access to the entire heart, so there's no place here for a minimally invasive approach. You just got it? Incision. It's a A30. How much was it? No, it's just at this point, they came to some. Oh, okay, okay. So the same main equipment. Yeah, but you can hear that. Okay, this baby has a um, BSD with the aortic valve prolapse. The aorta is well developed. The main pulmonary artery is quite large, and I can feel a thrill uh, through that, probably from the BSD. Go right in the ascending aorta, put that up to that first mark of centimeter. Okay, right there. Thank you. One, two, three. And it finds its way down into the atrium through the little muscle bundles. Okay, go on. And watch the difference when. More on full bypass on the lungs, but then you see this whole space open up. No, 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 okay, I'll do it. And then I can put this cannula in and guide it down into the inferior vena cava. And release this plant, and then that's the IVC cup. This is the cardioplegic catheter, so we're going to infuse a high potassium solution into this catheter in the ascending aorta, and that will arrest the heart. Be careful that that sharp point doesn't... Thank you, cross clamp. Okay, this is the cross clamp. We're going to include the aorta and give cardioplegia. Reduce your flows. Okay, now you're ready. Mm -hmm. Clamps on. <coughs> Plegia on. Cardioplegias going into the ascending aorta and will arrest the heart momentarily. Knife, 11 blade. You see the heart start stopping, slowly stopping right now. It's beating more irregularly. Vent going into the left atrium. Vent on. That's your pleads running. So it's starting to get a good arrest here. The heart's good heart, the heart's still beating. We'll double the dose of cardioplegia so we make sure we get enough in there. But this baby does have uh, some significant aortic insufficiency. Okay, so we're making an incision into the right atrium to expose the VSD. Okay, so we're using an endoscope to inspect the intraatrial anatomy. There is no PFO. We'll document that picture. This is the trigester valve, which is we inspected the atrial septum and there was no PFO. The tricuspid valve functioned well, so we prepared to deliver cardioplegia through the coronary sinus. Is this a bleach dose on? Hey John, starting, this is a retrograde dose. VSD's position is more subarterial than perimembranous. So we're really up underneath the pulmonary valve. So we're gonna sew right to the annulus of the pulmonary valve. This aortic valve prolapse was significant enough to create a fair amount of scar tissue buildup on the margins of the VSD. Have a little bit of an unusual shape. And then it will come out towards us. All right, so you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to put this first stitch way down at the apex of the defect so that I can sew back towards myself the whole way. And then by gently retracting on this edge, we can able to pull the defect towards us so we can see it better. We've completed the superior margin of the repair and now we're beginning the inferior suture line. We sewed this patch right to the pulmonary valve annulus and with saline in the pulmonary artery you can see how close we are to the pulmonary valve leaflets. I think it's going to be better without that VSD pulling the aortic valve leaflet open. We might not be able to tell with the pleasure. We might have to rewarm the heart and see how it actually looks on the echo before we can make that decision. All right, let's use a 6-0 okay, So this is the atrial suture line, one of two. 
bring this one up. Let's see if we can restore normal rhythm. Five, you said? Twenty. Twenty? Yeah. That is it. Okay, so we came off bypass. He still has pretty significant aortic insufficiency through that one leaflet that's very foreshortened that was prolapsing through the VSD. The VSD is effectively closed, so we're going to we cool back down. We're going to clamp the aorta, and we're going to go in and try and repair that leaflet. Okay, reduce your flow. Okay, so this is cardioplegia being delivered directly into the left coronary ostium. I'm instilling saline into the aortic root, squirting at the leaflet. And what I can see is that the, the, the one thickened leaflet is too low. It just doesn't come up and meet the edges of the other leaflet. The chronic venturi pressure pulling this leaflet through the VSD has shortened the leading edge of the leaflet, rolled it over, and created significant scar tissue in the body of the leaflet. Shortening the commissure will not... Uh, fix that, we have to add volume to that anterior leaflet. So then the question is, do we add volume to the leading edge of the leaflet, or do we cut into the middle of the leaflet and try and add volume into the middle of the leaflet? sewn our patch to the leading edge of this right corner leaflet. Now we're going to trim it. Okay, I like it. We used a running suture technique to attach this pericardial patch to the right coronary cusp. Uh, we left extra length on this leaflet so that it would overlap the other two native valve leaflets. Okay, we just closed the aorta and started rewarming. We're about to de air the part through the aortic root here and get the cross map off cut. And then when we rewarm, we'll see how the aortic valves work. Uh, okay, watch your eyes. We're taking the aortic canyon out. One, two, three, and out. The postoperative echo is striking. The VSD patch effectively closes the defect, and the patch extending the right coronary cusp overlaps the other leaflets and creates a completely competent aortic valve. Okay, so we're off bypass. Intraoperative transesophageal echo showed no residual aortic insufficiency. And the child's diastolic pressure is 56 with a good systolic pressure. Uh, so the VSD is closed and the aortic valve is repaired. And then there's a subcutaneous layer that will close this superficial fascia.